Our teeth are supported in the jaw bone by alveolar bone. Once we lose our teeth, this alveolar bone begins to shrink. Over time, we lose more and more of our alveolar bone, and replacement of our natural teeth with dental implants require bone to place the implants in. If the bone is lost, we need to rebuild the bone by bone grafting. A middle-aged lady who has been wearing removable dentures for more than 20 years would like to have to be able to have fixed teeth that she does not have to remove for washing after every meal. However, there was a lot of bone loss due to more than 20 years of pressure from the denture. The bone loss also affected her facial appearance. The upper lip is sunken in and wrinkles on the lip is more visible. Replacement of the missing teeth of implants will need to address the issue of aesthetics as well. As such, the missing bone also need to be rebuilt. So what's next? We need to graft bone to build up her jaw and then do the implant. And we do it with minimal surgery using our proprietary method and technologies. Some of the patient's hip bone was harvested to be transferred to the upper jaw. The bone harvested from the hip is the gold standard for bone grafting. Unlike the alternatives such as human donor bone or animal bone, using your own bone gives one the peace of mind of not getting infectious diseases no matter how remote the possibility. Furthermore, the bone is fresh and is able to stimulate more bone cells to form. To enhance the bone further, we use a special centrifuge to isolate and concentrate the platelets from the blood and makes the platelet concentrate with the hip bone. This high concentration of growth factors in the platelets further enhances the healing. The platelets are concentrated into a small volume and is called platelet-rich plasma or PRP. A few months after the bone graft, we are now ready for implants. A CT scan of the jaw was done and using a special dental implant planning software, the dental implants were positioned in the most optimal position. The plan is emailed to Materialize Inc. in Belgium, where a CAT CAM surgical guide is made by Serial Lithography. The guide is then placed over the jawbone and implants placed according to plan. The construction of the jawbone in conjunction with replacing the teeth not only enable to chew the food better, but also improve facial appearance. have a developmental growth abnormality with the, the jaw may be longer, shorter and we can do corrective surgery to um, harmonize the face so to speak and all the way to the, the more mature members of the public who may have lost some teeth or may have um, shrunken jaw due to aging and atrophy and we can rebuild the jaws and the teeth using advanced technologies. Hi, I'm Dr. S.L. Chan from Aesthetic and Reconstructive Jaw Surgery here in Mount Elizabeth Medical Center.